How's it going everyone? Paul here and this is another 3v3 match. One of those 3v3 matches involving myself as a light blue Terran. I was playing random but I get your pick as a Terran. Then Tolmac as a red Zerg and Plyzanti, fellow choir member and real life friend as a blue Terran. We are up against Torres. F Torres and F Chelsea and we have been going against them for like how many games in a row so this was literally like our fourth game against them it was like oh my oh my goodness we rushed them the last time so we're gonna do it again so little did we notice he's gonna box us right now I did we didn't even see there was a pylon at, at, at back of our base so we thought that they're gonna rush us at the front. But little do we know there's a proxy at the back. Yeah, so let's see, okay. This guy's going early pull now. Let's see how let's see how many pull he was going for. Yeah, he was going at a nine pull. Okay, let's speed this up a little bit more. Okay. So basically Zer's gonna go for an early early pull, nine pull. Well, Torres is definitely gonna go for proxy fights and gateways. So yeah, F Torres and Torres, they are building proxies right now. So it's a 3v3! So, because the last time we actually rushed them, I had the gut feeling that they will be the one that will be rushing us instead. Not just a rush, it's a proxy cheese rush! So that was a bit of a lame there. Okay, Torres made a mistake. He should have put out the barracks there. So, he wasted like 25 minerals for no apparent reason. So yeah, so his barrack so, so his barracks was was a little late there. So that's a little fail on his part. So we would have thought that we were still going like sort of standard rush, but not as crazy as a proxy rush, like what they are doing. They're going a pretty aggressive. This guy has got two gate, and he's going to go for two barracks. But he has an early pool. He can just keep spawning units in and out of the base. So, I did see the early pool, but I didn't see the cheese. Alright. So, this guy has links all over. But the bad thing about F. Chelsea, the yellow Zerg, that he's not building enough workers. He's still stuck on nine workers. But we are like seeing pretty like 16, 17 workers at the currently at now. So we're like building like how many barracks? Because if we were to rush them, we're gonna need big numbers. And if we need to defend and rush early, we are gonna be we are also gonna need big numbers. So yeah, I'm just for my main line defense, it's gonna be purely marines. So yeah, Plyzanti has level up a scan somewhere. But the thing is about Operator Command, I don't like to use for early scans. Because a scan you can use it for a mule. And a mule is like how many hundred resources, how many hundred minerals you can get from from a mule. They can just get for free. So I may try to put it SV to base, but little did I notice the Zerg needs to intercept me for freak out reason, I don't know. Okay, but now for a red, Tomac is actually going for a metabolic boost. So he's going to have speed links at the end of it all. So yeah, this guy, the family team has pretty pretty scary army. Like 7 Zellers, 24 Zerglings and 6 Marines. And apparently we only have like 18 Zerglings, 4 and 11 Marines. But Tomac has already speed links at this point, so you can just kite them around. So yeah, these Zerglings are going to town right now man, but Tomek has a speed advantage. So we're literally just defending as much as we can. So yeah, we had to do quite a bit of macro and micro -ray. Sorry, I have a strap in my mouth. So yeah, basically what I'm doing, I literally started snapping all these Zealots. I try to kite them as well. I try to do 
swap micro as best I can. Okay, we take some of the Zelda there. Supported by more Zerglings and Leon Queens. So yeah, so we at the very first wave. Okay, but this would be the good time to actually counter-attack. Which we did try. So Leon is also doing some stuttering Marines. And I'm gonna launch an attack as well. So, I'm going but... So, my... My thinking is just to quickly go and take that ramp. But I didn't... I didn't manage those marines at all. So literally, here's my so here's my camera. I didn't even see what what the hell my marines were doing. So yeah, so I lost the whole batch of marines for no apparent reason. Yeah, so that was bad for those marines. But then again, I'm still winning more. So they're not really very really pointed and close to the attack zone. So but instead, more I'm playing five at a time. Yeah, we're going about 4 or 5 repeats at a time. Well, well, Leon is going like 4 Marauders. So now that so now that Tormac has actually gone and sneak by the right side and actually take the Yellow Zerg from the back. So the Yellow Zerg is definitely going to go down first. So we are still micro, micromanaging our Marines. We're still trying to hold as best we can there. Still micromanaging those damn marines. Like 200 plus on our AP, I'm just scary on that block. So it took quite a bit of sick micro to get all this done. Okay, so now yellow is effectively out of the game. And the red so is decidedly going for the orange now. So basically, they're literally their cheese fail. And that's in when cheese fails. So this is one of those games that I did submit to Lag TV because this is I hope this is something that's worth sharing. Then the three v three over committing of cheese is definitely not a good idea. But that's practically what do you expect inside the bronze league? So yeah, Torres should have built more barracks. He's floating a lot of money. He's not doing it at all. But now he lost his command center. But does he have an SCV? Yes. He could expand here if he wants to. He should have expanded. So, yellow is effectively also out of the game. But Protoss also has don't, doesn't have any more workers left. So, we're basically cleaning up shop right now. We have a lot of marines and a lot of marauders in the field. So, it, it took quite a bit of microwing and skill to actually did push back this cheese. So Raid manages to do the attack or we were actually defending. Simple counter? I don't know man. <laughs> That's what he said. But it took quite a bit of microwing, we're still microwing the shit out of marines, and we're still building like marines like say like four five at a time. And we have like a healthy around the 25 Zerglings, 4 Pokemon Rodders, and 35 Marines. And then again, we still have more, they're not probably really pointed, we just scattered all over the map. So yeah, we have like 40 Marines, we're definitely pulling them back this bitch, man. So yeah, that goes the game, so... After I said Chelsea leaves the game, well, Orange is still trying his best to actually go and push in with more. But then it's too late, too little, too late. We have like more than 40 marines on the field plus another few more marauders. So I told them I smelled a rush. <coughs> and fortunately for fam for the family trio, we beat them for like the fourth time. So basically we face them again four times in ladder. Which is a bit of a shame there. We need a bit more variety. Because we know their tactics, they know ours. Because the first two games that we did, we actually even we eventually had to go for the, a late base race, and then the third game we rushed them. Fourth one, we counter cheese them. So yeah, so it took a bit of time. We never learned from their mistakes. So basically, this is a fair when cheese fails that I must, that I have submitted on Lang TV. So yeah, that's all about it. Okay, thanks very much. Bye.